Hi everybody. Um, this video is about shave horses. I recently made a shave horse and uh, I posted a picture to um, a Facebook page, Primitive Bow Making. Um, somebody on there asked me to do a quick video of it being used. So I thought I'll do that. So I'll post it on this channel and then I'll, it'll be there for other people to see as well. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around. And here it is. I thought I'd just do a quick walk around first. Now, <laughs> this is a very rustic um, shave horse, but it's functional, it works. I used what I had available. There's no nails or screws in this. It's all just uh, holes and pegs. So, yeah, what we have is a three-legged stool or bench. There's a couple of holes drilled into the side of the bench here, and then this is pegged to it so that this pivots piece on the bottom has pegs I could have done it a bit longer which I'll put my feet on to push it this way and then that clamps in the top piece here uh, this being the piece of wood that I'd be working on so the whole point of that is I can use a draw knife without this piece of wood moving around too much it's clamped in so I sit here and then I work it the holes at the top is because I put the <laughs> this peg way too high up um, it's not perfect, it has got its limitations. You can see there's a fairly tight gap for your bit of wood to go in, although this piece is resting on that so it lifts it so the piece of wood is at a decent angle to um, play with. So there we go, I'll do a quick video of it in use. Let's do some measurements first. So it's 111 centimetres, which is just under 44 inches, which is just over three and a half foot long. There we go. I haven't built this to any pattern. So I'm going to try and taking a bit off this so I can remove this to change the angle lower it make it higher I'll push my feet against the bottom pegs that's clamped in nice now And, uh, release the pressure and move my piece of wood down if I need to. So you can see I can, uh, I can use it. It's not the most stable of things. I did put the legs in um, about a year ago and never got around to finishing it, so I've done that now. Um, but the legs are a little loose. I can saw the top of that bit where it goes through and put a little wedge in and that'll tighten it. The rain's coming again. Anyway, I built this for um, making some of these woodworking projects such as, such as bow making a bit easier and um, show my mate Dan and then Dan's built one even better than mine 
Okay, he used screws and stuff, but he's done a great job. So I'm going to um, put a clip of uh, Dan's little shave horse in as well, so you can see another example of uh, of another one. I think Dan's is better than mine, to be fair, but you know, it's not a competition. Anyway, hope this has um, answered a couple of questions, given you some ideas if you want to do something similar. Um, I'm sure you can find patterns for shave horses on the internet um, and on certain pages on Facebook. There's people show examples of shave horses they've built as well. So yeah, another little woodworking project. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot. Peace and love. Right, so it's complete. I'll show you So that. Hinges down on your piece of wood. Like that. Ugh. And then you can also adjust this, depending on how big your bit of wood is. You need to make a new block for that. But yeah, literally go like that, take some bits off, and ta da! And that's not going anywhere.